Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering unit rate word problems, and we're going to go through the three problems on your screen together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have four gallons of gas cost $12.80. What was the price of gas per gallon? So the first thing we need to do is set up a fractional ratio. And remember, when it comes to ratios, order really matters. So take a look at the question part of the problem and see what order is necessary. And it says, what was the price of gas per gallon? So price of gas needs to come first in your fractional ratio. So that's $12.80. So that's going to be our numerator. Our denominator is going to be the gallons of gas, which there are four. So four gallons of gas. Now we need to get that to a unit rate. So we need a denominator of one. So in order to get a denominator of one, we need to divide that four by four. So four divided by four is going to give us that one gallon or a denominator of one. Now when it comes to fractions, remember whatever you do to the bottom, you need to do to the top. That keeps it equivalent. So we would do $12.80 divided by four. And that gives us $3.20. So $3.20 per one gallon. And we can write that out as $3.20 per gallon. Now one thing I want to mention before we go to number two that can sometimes be a common mistake and confusing, confusing to some, the order in our original problem gallons came first here and then cost but our fractional ratio was set up as cost and then gallons so what you need to do don't worry about the order in the original situation worry about the order that the question is asking you so the question said price of gas per gallon so price of gas comes first and then the gallons Number two, a car traveled 480 miles in eight hours. How many miles did the car travel per hour? So we need to set up our fractional ratio, keeping the order in mind. So let's check our question and it says, how many miles did the car travel per hour? So miles uh, will come first. So that's our numerator or top number and the car drove 480 miles and that was in eight hours. So that's our fractional ratio. Now we need to get it to a unit rate. So we need a denominator of one. So in order to get a denominator of one, we need to divide by eight Whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do to the top in order to keep it equivalent. And eight divided by eight, we get per one hour here. And 480 divided by eight will be 60 miles. So the car traveled 60 miles per every one hour. So 60 miles per hour. Number three, a baker baked 180 cookies in three batches. How many cookies did the baker bake per batch? So fractional ratio first, let's check the order. And it says, how many cookies did the baker bake per batch? So cookies comes first. So that will be on top, 180 cookies and we want per batch um, and there were three total batches 
So there is our fractional ratio. Now we need to get it to a unit rate, so we need a denominator of one. So how do we get that? Well, let's divide three by three in order to get that one. So per one batch here, and whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do to the top in order to keep it an equivalent fraction. So 180 divided by three would be 60 cookies. So 60 cookies per batch. So there you have it. There are some unit rate word problems. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.